Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I'm a photographer and digital artist and welcome to another five minute tip in Photoshop. Today we're going to be doing something kind of fun. I want to show you how to create a nice spaceship type of picture. All of these images are taken off of either unsplash.com or pixabay.com so you can download those and practice along with me. But I got this picture of the earth off of pixabay.com. I'm just going to go ahead and fill that background to black to fill the entire frame. Then I'm going to get a new layer, a new group, and I'm going to call this one stars. And I'm going to change this blend mode to lighten. And then I'm going to get a picture of stars. Again, this is off of pixabay.com. And I'm going to fill uh, this background with these nice blue stars here. And so I may have to duplicate it and do two of these, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put both of these layers uh, inside of this group that says lighten and uh, fill the background with some space. All right, now that you have all of your stars inside of this uh, group uh, and you have them all over where you want to go, we want to make sure that the stars don't go on top of the planet Earth. So I'm just going to make a selection here. I'm just going to get a nice circle tool here, make a selection of the Earth as close as I can. Then I'm going to go back up into that group of the stars and I'm going to make a new layer and fill that circle with a blue color that's already in the background. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that the stars uh, are not illuminating on the surface of the earth. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer on top of everything. Go ahead and control click that circle that you made earlier. And we just want to make sure that the bottom of the earth is, is a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to get a nice little blue color, paint on the, uh, the bottom part of the earth, kind of give it like a little atmospheric glow here, and then change that blend mode to screen. Now that you have the earth in the background where you want it to go, you can also make adjustments to where the earth is at. If you want to move the earth in the scene, just make sure you can um, control click the earth, the little circle that we drew inside of that group, and then also control click that glow that we drew on the bottom, and then you can move the earth to wherever you need it to go. But once you have it exactly where you want it to go, we need to add the rocket to the scene. And so if you go to unsplash.com, there is a uh, picture of the SpaceX uh, rocket launch, which is pretty cool. Uh, you are gonna have to mask it out though. So we're gonna have to uh, make a layer mask and just start painting out different parts of the scene. And so you can use the quick select tool to select the uh, the clouds, or you can uh, use the pen tool, or you can just manually you know, brush these things out and really zoom in and uh, you know, erase the sky and erase these trees and stuff like that. But I'll go ahead and remove those and then we'll move on to the next part of this. All right, after you have cut out all of the uh, the smoke and the sky and the trees and the rocket and everything, and uh, it took a few minutes, probably took about five to 10 minutes for me to cut all of that out. Uh, but once you have that, what we want to do is start warping this so it fits on the planet Earth. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy. Control J makes a copy. I always want to save that original mask. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply that to the, the mask to this layer. I'm gonna call it rocket. And I'm gonna make a couple extra copies, maybe three copies here. And and uh, we're going to work on them one at a time. The first thing we want to do is warp the first one. And so I'm going to go to my edit tool and I'm going to do warp and I'm going to warp this one. And so it looks like it goes onto the curvature of the earth. So play around with these uh, these little warp tools. And so it kind of fits uh, on the uh, the curvature of the earth. You know, you can move this side over here this way and this side over this way, but get so it looks like it's actually resting on the top of the earth. All right, once you have it warped the way that you want it to, go back to one of these other copies that we made earlier and let's bring it down to the bottom. And what we want to do is just fill in the other sides of with this smoke. So I can just go ahead and, and flip this one horizontally, for example, and then I can start adding some of this smoke that kind of trails off to the right. And then we can warp it like that. So now we have some, some smaller smoke that's going on the right side. And then take another one of those copies and uh, flip it again. And then what we'll do is we'll put this one uh, on the back side, but we'll put, do the big smoke kind of in the background like that. Again, you want to warp it and uh, just use your edit tool with your warp and then you can warp it like that. But the idea is you wanna get smoke kinda going all over the scene. And then what you want to do is just mask out those extra rockets. We only want one rocket. So just take the smoke and then mask out the other rockets for your clones.
All right, so I've got uh, the clouds the way I want it to. I've kind of added some in the background. I added some on the right and on the left. The ones that I added in the background, I made them just a little bit darker and a little bit more blue, just so it looks like they're uh, behind there. Uh, but once you have all of those ready, I put all of those into a group. You can merge that group, and then you can do some other tweaks to it as well. You can warp it a little bit more uh, just to make it fit. Uh, but once you get to that point, you want to make a shadow underneath them. So let's make a new layer underneath it. We'll call it shadow change your blend mode to multiply and then you just want to take a nice little gray color and uh, just paint a little bit of shadow underneath these clouds this is where the uh, part of the earth would be darker and uh, it would not be getting as much light so i think that looks pretty good like that then i'm going to do a levels adjustment underneath that and just make the entire scene darker the earth a lot darker and then mask out uh, parts of the earth where it would be getting a little bit of reflection from that earth from that launch of the uh, rocket all right, now that you've got to this point, uh, the brightest part of your image is the rocket and the uh, the fire out of the rocket, and uh, the darkest part of the image is the uh, the background. So that's good. That's what we want. But we want to make that bro that rocket just a little bit brighter. So I'm going to make a new layer, change it to screen, and get a nice orangish red color here. And I'm just going to paint a little bit of a screened. Uh, colors here right where the fire of the rocket is maybe going off onto the clouds uh, kind of like that just to really amp up how bright this rocket is so something kind of like that then i'm going to do some glows on top of it so make a group and put uh, your group blend mode is color dodge and the same thing just kind of go in there with a, a new layer and just really amp up the brightness of this rocket you want to make sure this is the brightest part of the scene All right, guys, that's mostly it. I'm just going to do a few extra details and we'll finish this project up. So for the clouds and the dust there, I want to do a levels adjustment on the outside of the clouds. I want to make sure those edges are nice and dark, just like the uh, the space background is dark. So maybe make them a little bit more blue and a little bit darker and then just do a layer mask on the middle part of those clouds. And so the middle part is nice and bright and orange but the outside is nice and blue and dark. Then I would go up to that Color Dodge um, group uh, that we had earlier, and then I'm just going to uh, get our Earth circle that we drew, control click that, bring that up to your Color Dodge, and then we're just gonna paint a little bit of blue uh, down here at the bottom of the Earth, just to amp up that, uh, that nice blue color on the atmosphere below. And that really, you know, uh, complements the uh, warm colors on top with the blue colors on the bottom. But guys, that's pretty much all I've got for today. And I hope that you enjoyed this quick five minute tutorial.